Hello and welcome to another World of Warcraft video. In this video, we are going to be discussing how you can get yourself three awesome land mounts. The mounts that you can get are this mount, this mount, and this mount. To get these mounts, you need to complete some steps before. First, you need 3,600 gold to purchase them. Second, we're going to kill a bunch of monsters to get you exalted with the Golden Lotus so that you can purchase them. Third, when you are exalted with the Golden Lotus, purchase them. <laughs> these four spots on the map will give the most amount of monsters that you can kill in order to get your reputation the quickest way possible. I suggest using a druid for doing this, as a druid will have the best mobility and the best way to kill all the monsters quickly. This means that you will get your reputation that much quicker, and by default, get your mounts that much quicker also. Okay, so without further ado, let's fly over to the first farming spot, which is just this open section here, and we will start our farm. Now, I'm going to be playing on my druid which I highly suggest using for this farm, just makes it that much quicker. You can use something like a demon hunter or things like that. Uh, I'm going to show you a technique for using classes that are really quick indoors. Uh, as you know, as a druid I will naturally be farming outdoors. It's a bit quicker for me to jump around and get everything I need to um, like that. However, indoor classes can go inside and farm inside and get the rep pretty much as quick. Not quite. Okay, so we're at the first spot. All we're going to do is just literally drop down here and start killing everything we can. Okay, just kill it all. And there are like a few rares around which do offer more, more reputation. Bear in mind, each of these will give you 10 reputation towards the Golden Lotus. And you need to get exalted as quickly as possible. So just kill them at all. Honestly, just you just want to kill them all. And what we're after uh, whilst we're doing this, is, so you want to make sure you loot them. Because what we're after is some keys. Now these keys will give you a chance to open boxes that I'm going to show you in a minute and where to find them. And you'll get tokens which will offer more reputation towards the Golden Lotus. And it's the quickest way by far of getting reputation. So we're just killing a bunch of them. We've already got one key which is this ancient Gula... I'm going to, I'm going to fail this. Ancient Gai Lao... Uh, Boy Lao cash key yeah that's what we're going for so pretend i've ki oh no there's a special here let's kill the special um so once you've killed obviously all these guys loot their bodies and then we're going to go over to the next farming spot which would just be here then there then finally just here and i'm just going to skip straight over to this section over here which is where the cave is and we need to go to this cave because this is where the chests are what I would suggest is you find yourself 10 of these keys before you go to this cave so that you're using so that you're using your time the wisest way possible. And you don't want to just have to keep running into here, go a bit slower and just reduce the, the efficiency of this farm. So let's go into this cave really quickly. It's called, what is it? Gaolai Balls. <laughs> I struggle with that name. Why do you have to give me such a difficult name to pronounce? Do you, this is the cave where I would suggest if you are a demon hunter, maybe you farm in here because it might be just a bit quicker for you to get around and just keep farming all these areas. But once you come into here, the chests are straight ahead. Um, I will show you those in just a second. What I would always suggest is just going into here, checking if the two rare elites are available because if you do kill these two rare elites, they give you 200 reputation each so they, can't, they can be really nice to kill. Uh, I'm just going to jump to this one and kill it. There you go. And they just drop basic basic materials. They'll give 200 reputation. Each of these gives 10 reputation. Okay, so now we're going to go down the main hall that we were speaking of previously to get the chests. Once you've got the keys uh, that you need, you go to here and you make sure you walk along the line. Otherwise, you will get knocked into the air and it's very annoying to try and get to where you need to. Double click this door as there are two doors. It might be a bit buggy for you. Kill the rare elite and then run down these stairs. Obviously you can kill these monsters on the way. Hopefully they'll give you another key. I've only got one key just because I'm making this video. I wouldn't have dared to come in here without at least 10 keys uh, whilst I was farming the reputation just makes it so much quicker okay so you run up these stairs and you just kill the monsters in the way 
and you can immediately start opening these chests. Okay, so once you've opened the chest, you'll notice that we got a Relic of the Thunder King. This offers a whole ton of reputation. I believe it's a thousand reputation for the Thunder King. No, it's 500 reputation for the Thunder King. Um, and it's 250 for the Relic of Gulal. Um, now, this will increase when you get to revered status. You can buy yourself that accommodation that increases your reputation by 100%. And that will immediately go to 1,000. That will go to 500, making it that much quicker to get where you need. Uh, and you just open these chests and they respawn pretty darn quickly. So if you've got more than 10, you can just easily open all these chests and then come back and reopen them again. It's that quick. This never really drops anything, so you can kill it. It gives you 200 reputation, always worth killing it. Apart from that guys, just make sure you get yourself 10 keys. Um, open these chests, get all your, your commendations, use your commendations, get your reputation to be exalted, and then go buy yourselves those mounts. Now, if you are not a fan of farming, and you'd like to do the daily quests, there is that option too. I just find that daily quests feel boring. I just like grinding out experience and reputation. It's a lot more fun for me personally. However, if you are the sort that likes the daily quests, there is this option in this video as well. So all you have to do is come to your respective um, faction. So I'm Alliance, so I'm at the Shrine of Stars. Or what do you at the Shrine of Two Dunes? And you basically go in, go to the, the bottom of Alice, and you speak to respective faction leader of the Golden Lotus. It would be Zari of the Kind if you want clients like myself. And she'll give you a daily quest which will send you over Setting Sun, which is just over here. And that in a bunch of quests for the Gold Lotus. Very simple. Um, and then it will send you over here just a bunch of daily quests. Similar type thing. Something worth noting when you get to Revered with the Golden Lotus. You can come back to this spot here on the map. At the Shrine of the Seven Stars. Come speak to this gentleman here called Jalu the Generous. He sells all of the Golden Lotus type things. And he'll sell this Grand Commendation Lotus. And this is something you can only buy when you are revered status with Golden Lotus. It unlocks 100% rep bonus reputation Golden Lotus. So that will mean instead of getting in reputation per kill on the fellas that we are told you to kill, you get 20. And when you kill a boss, you'll get 400 instead of 200. So it speeds up that revered to exalted far more than pre- it is worth noting that if you are a tailor, there are also some pretty cool little bits and bobs that you can pick up here for crafting your esque recipes. Very interesting, uh, definitely worth a look. These do sell well on the auction house, so bear that in mind in the future. In our next video, we'll be looking at how to get the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. It's a really awesome mount. It's actually this dragon right here, but you get to ride it, which is pretty awesome. But I'm mentioning it right now because from these chests and from all the monsters that you're going to be killing to get these three mounts, you also have a chance of working towards getting this as your mount. Um, you will need Sky Shards. They are purple. They will pop up and say, this is a Sky Shard. You want to save 10 of those. So bear that in mind for the future video. We'll be looking at how to do that. If you're watching this, um, and the video is already out just go ahead and watch that it'll be a nice short and easy video And it will basically just show how to get those uh, in the most efficient way possible But yeah, if you get a sky shard do not delete it do not get rid of it Keep it you will need it to get that mount and trust me. It's pretty easy to get it I'm going to show you the most efficient way to do it in tomorrow's video though if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like button on this video and you click subscribe. Guys, I have noticed that about 93% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I would like to work on that and get you guys to start clicking that subscribe button, joining the Smash Squad, and hopefully you guys will really just want to continue to watch some of my content. I've been releasing some really, really good videos lately. 
put a lot of time, work and blood, sweat and tears into these videos and I would just really appreciate if you guys could hit that, that subscribe button and join us for future videos. With that being said guys, please make sure you leave me your thoughts in the comments section below. This was a slightly longer guide because I really felt it was important to go into detail about what you needed to do to get these mounts in the most efficient way possible. If you have enjoyed this, this video guys, please feel free to obviously get involved, whether it's subscribing, liking, or you know, even sharing with a friend. I'll see you in next in I will see you in the next video when we are looking at how to get the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. But without further ado, guys, this is Erosium out.